There are concerns of a surge in COVID-related heart disease following the Omicron outbreak. Cardiologists and GPs say they're seeing an increase in patients reporting heart problems after catching COVID. And they're urging others not to ignore the warning signs. Health correspondent Lucy Warhurst reports. Law student Myra Karuna Nudi was living her best life until she got COVID. I thought it was going to be a mild illness, especially for someone like me. For most people, Omicron will be a manageable illness. Scientists say that Omicron can evade attacks from the human immune system, but may only cause mild or asymptomatic disease. Omicron has enough mutations. The backbone of it actually looks more like a pre-Wuhan virus. It is behaving like a common cold to the point of what Dr. Urso said earlier. It doesn't bind in the lungs like the previous variants did. I'm 21, otherwise healthy, fit. I'm triple vaccinated. I'm triple vaccinated. I'm triple vaccinated. Don't have any underlying health conditions. But 10 weeks on from Omicron, she's struggling with heart palpitations and fatigue. So I get a pounding and racing heart. Um, my heart rate skyrockets to about 150 to 210 beats per minute just from quite minimal activity like walking, doing my hair. Just making her bed or walking upstairs sends her heart rate shooting up to its maximum. Well, this time last year, she was sprinting up hills and doing half marathons. Vaccination is clearly causing myocarditis, and now we know for sure. Vaccination is clearly causing myocarditis, and now we know for sure. Vaccination is clearly causing myocarditis, and now we know for sure. Because in a paper by Avolio and colleagues shows that the spike protein, the product, of the COVID-19 vaccines. I'm triple vaccinated. Directly damages pericytes in the heart. The pericytes are the support cells around the capillaries and the cardiomyocytes. And so the vaccines clearly cause heart inflammation. And so the vaccines clearly cause heart inflammation. And so the vaccines clearly cause heart inflammation. Tide Arfati cardiologist Jerry Devlin says he's seeing a number of people with post-COVID heart issues. With the increase in Omicron transmission in our communities, we are definitely seeing people that are coming to see us. These shots are clearly associated with cardiotoxicity, myocarditis and pericarditis. A recent U.S. study of more than 150,000 veterans found heart disease risk increased substantially in the year following an infection, even in mild cases. Just how much of an increase there'll be here in the coming months? Well, we don't know. But the myocarditis um, signal is cumulative. So if you take one dose, you have a lower risk. Two doses, it's higher. Three doses, it's still higher. I'm triple vaccinated. Then I think the expectation is that we will see more people with long COVID type syndromes. There are over 200 symptoms being reported with long COVID. And um, that includes things like fatigue, shortness of breath, um, memory impediments, and um, GI symptoms, many, many uh, different organ systems being involved. Uh, fatigue is the number one uh, symptom that's being reported. I'm hearing from many, many frontline doctors that they are seeing an increasing amount of post-vaccination syndrome complaints coming to them. Often it has to do with low energy. People feel just chronically bad after getting boosted and boosted. And it seems to be worse the more boosts you get. So if you've had COVID but are experiencing ongoing palpitations, breathlessness, fatigue or chest pain, she's struggling with heart palpitations and fatigue. And she's triple vaccinated. The Heart Foundation says don't ignore the warning signs. See your GP. If you're getting symptoms like that after you've, you know, triple vaccinated, please see your doctor. It doesn't matter if it's one week, two weeks, three weeks or further down the line. My heart rate skyrockets just from quite minimal activity, like walking, doing my hair. Everybody listening to this to understand, this vaccine that you have can damage you. And there's no doubt about it. The scoreboard is lit up as bright as it can be. Death, hospitalization, cardiac, neurologic injury, miscarriage, stillbirth, paralysis, permanent disability. It can't get worse. It honestly can't get worse. I can't think of any drug or any injection that is this dangerous as this group of vaccines, in particular your Pfizer vaccine. Mira Karunanudi has a three-month wait for a special monitor to check her heart rhythms.
but she has a warning for others. Number one is don't underestimate COVID. Number two, I would definitely stress the importance of recovery. You need to rest and rest some more and then rest even more than you think you have to. And I'm triple vaccinated. Health experts say the best way to avoid long-term symptoms is to ensure your vaccines are up to date and continue trying to avoid catching COVID in the first place. Lucy Warhurst, News Hub. Mm -hmm.